The RICE project prioritization framework or scoring method is what I'm going to share with you in this video. So um, the thing is to be productive, you must prioritize. You really must commit to and focus on one project at a time to make progress and get things done. So the question is what do you choose to focus on now, right? Because if you don't prioritize and don't select one thing to focus on at a time, you're going to make little progress. If you choose the wrong thing to focus on, you're going to get little results. So that's why I use this tool to help me prioritize the projects I choose to work on now and later, basically. So I'm going to show you how this works. And the best way uh, to share this with you is just through this tool, which I'm going to give to you for free as well. Uh, it'll be in the description, the link, so you can go and install this into your Google Drive and use it. So let's just walk through it. So basically, uh, when you've got ideas or potential projects, things you could work on, uh, you just want to list them out here. So the first thing to do is, is, is you sit down. I'll, I'll do this um, uh, like once a year so at the end of the year uh, before the next one starts to help me prioritize the projects that i have in mind for this uh, coming year i also do this each quarter so sort of at the end of each quarter um, just kind of reorganize or maybe i have a few new things that i want to look at and sort of help uh, use this tool to help me prioritize what to focus on next so this is very much used in like product uh, product development and things like this this tool but i actually use it for everything like for my entire business so the same um, method can be applied i'll show you how uh, it really can be applied to anything like as a ceo of the business or if you're focused on the, the product development uh, the same applies right but the first step is to list out your project so i've put in two examples here right it could be let's say to identify and source of one new product for the business if you're um, let's say doing amazon private label or it could be to, let's say, hire a new advertising manager uh, for the business. Uh, it could be a lot of different things. It's anything that is a project, which basically means it's something that takes, let's say, more than a day or two days uh, to work on, or even not that. I mean, it even just like takes more than, let's say, uh, two to four hours. So it's more than a task. It's more like a project. That in, there's multiple things that need to happen. Things need to be organized, and you need to commit to it and focus on it. Obviously, most projects take more than four hours or more than one day. It'll take, you know, several days or several weeks, maybe even several months, right? So um, once you've listed that out, I'll come back to this column here because uh, this is how I basically uh, prioritize, right? But first we need to get the data, right? So first we need to add in the actual ideas uh, or potential projects. It doesn't mean we're committed to these projects. We're just listing out all the ideas or all the potential projects at this point. And then we're going to use the tool to help us decide which ones to commit to and in what order. So uh, the first data point, uh, we're trying to be objective, right? So the point of doing this as well is so that you can be objective, you can analyze the different options uh, for projects you've got in your business objectively with data. And you're trying to remove like emotional decision making or basically, you know, making poor decisions like working on things that you want to work on versus things that are maybe uh, less uh, appetizing, but they're important, like they'll make a big impact, right? So uh, reach basically means how many customers will this project impact over a single quarter? So it's really like the volume um, and the reach of this project. So this can be a little bit, you know, as you can see, it's really, this is really designed for like product development. So if it is about products, it will always be like more straightforward, but you can apply it to anything. So um, obviously if you're sourcing like a new product, you can put in some sort of um, estimation in terms of like uh, over a single quarter or so three months, like how many new um, or how many customers will this impact? So like how many customers will this uh, basically touch, you know, so the new product, you might say, well, I expect we're going to sell 4,000 units, right? If it's hiring a new advertising manager, you know, they might actually have an impact on uh, much wider reach, let's say, than a, one new product in a quarter. 
uh, if they're, let's say, impacting all of your advertising for all your products. So let's say we put that at uh, 15,000, right? So I'm going to give you like a hypothetical example here with this. Um, so the next column would be impact. So um, how much will this project increase conversion rate when a customer encounters it? Right, so how much will it impact conversion? So, um, yeah, I, I think that is clear, right? Uh, just Google conversion rate if you're not sure what that means, but obviously that is like how how well do people um, respond to what you've got and become customers as a result, right, of seeing it. So it could be massive, high, medium, low, minimal, right? So here are the scores you'd put in. So, um, you know, let's say uh, a new product, uh, let's say that would be a one, um, sort of medium impact. Uh, the new advertising manager, let's say it doesn't have, you know, has more of an impact on the reach, like you will actually touch a lot of uh, customers, so to speak. Uh, impact on conversions, though, might be a bit lower, right? That might be 0 0.5. Like it's not really going to impact conversions. Maybe let's say this role is just managing like pay-per-click advertising or something. But not working on conversion rates per se, um, but it might be a little bit related. Confidence. So, how confident are we about the optimistic estimates for reach, impact, and effort? So, we could have high confidence, medium confidence, low confidence, uh, and moonshot. This is like twenty percent or less. So, um, so this is very important, right? So, if let's say you've got a, a new product in mind and you're basically almost. Uh, completely confident that it's going to work. Maybe you have 90% confidence on that. Uh, the new advertising manager, however, might be a little bit less, um, might be a little bit less confident about that, right? Maybe uh, there's always a chance you get a bad hire or uh, you're not maybe entirely sure uh, exactly the value they're going to, uh, and if they're going to be able to basically accomplish this, right? So, um, this might be at, let's say, 80%. Now, we haven't put an effort yet, but it says rise, right? So it's R, oops, reach R, I impact, C confidence, E effort, right? So you can come and adjust it, but I like to follow this order anyhow. So effort is like estimate the total amount of time a project will require from all members of your team, product design and engineering. Estimated as a number of person months or the work that one team member can do in one month. So that's now very important just to understand. I mean, usually this one, the, the reason I do the confidence first is because it's more like based on this uh, effort. You know, we basically know what that is uh, with greater confidence. If after you go through the effort here, you feel like you're not as confident about it because you're not sure about the effort, you could adjust the confidence score. But usually, you know, that's pretty straightforward, at least in my experience. So effort, you know, you might say hiring uh, a new person here that's going to take us like one week, right? So this is a uh, person months. So that's basically 0 0.25 of one month is the effort. Um, to source a new product, we might say, okay, that's going to take us um, uh, like two weeks of work, right? So that's how we do it. So basically at this point you get the rice score. So higher the better. So basically this is taken into account as you can see, uh, like how much, how many, um, customers the the project impacts uh, the actual impact on customers in terms of conversion rate um, it's taken into account how much time it takes and then it's taken into account how confident you are in these estimates right so that's going to give us the score and we can basically prioritize projects then based on this score so in this case this uh, project it has significantly higher rise score. So we would probably want to do this first. But obviously you also have to make uh, some uh, discretionary uh, decisions like basically place your own judgment on it as well. This is a framework to help you, but it is very helpful because you might be surprised. You, maybe you were thinking, oh, I definitely want to go and source this new product. And then you're maybe not so excited about hiring this new person or something. But if you put it into like, um, you make it more objective. You might say, well, this is actually going to have significantly uh, more impact on our business. Um, uh, you know, it's very likely, right? And I'm willing to, uh, like, that makes more sense to do. Like, it's only going to take us a week. 
we should get this done ASAP, right? Now, usually if, if something takes a very short time, you know, the rise score is going to be very high. So worth noting. And also uh, when the confidence is very low, it's really going to impact the rise score a lot. So cool framework, definitely very helpful to have some sort of, again, objective mechanism to create score projects and help you prioritize correctly. So once we've done this, what I would do then, uh, usually there will be more things here, but uh, I would go and basically first try to um, sort of uh, prioritize by quarter. So you know sort of how much time things take. So in one quarter, you have basically three in effort. Uh, well, if you've got a team, obviously, you might have a lot more, but if it's just you, uh, then that might be the case. You know, if it's all projects you're going to be doing. Uh, so quarter, you can then lay that out. Okay, so uh, we're going to do these projects here, you know, in the first quarter, like those are the highest priority, then we'll go with these here in the second, etc. I like to do this first to just kind of get a high level um, understanding of, of where these are going to fit in. And then I'll basically prioritize them within the quarter. So put in actual start and end dates to it, as you can do here. And then if there's something more like this is just a description of the project, but uh, I find this helpful to sometimes write in what thing uh, what the project involves just a little more detail on it so it might you know hire a new advertising manager it might be like create a job description right post it here and um, uh, collect resumes do phone interviews or whatever right so you can just add in a little more clarity on it uh, this might be helpful maybe not this is not a mandatory part of this process really this is the rice method here and then um, these are things that i've added in that i like oops uh, these here that I like right to have in here as well to help make this more practical and useful with the way I use this tool at least so hope that makes sense I hope that's helpful I'll show you one more thing here so we have instructions so what you can do now is you can basically go and uh, download this tool here below this video it will be a link and uh, you've just completed step one which is what's this training so uh, kudos and next step Number two here is to add this tool to your drive. So um, you can just come into file uh, and make a copy and then store a copy on your drive. And then you can edit that version. You cannot edit this version. This is my version. But if you go and uh, click file again, make a copy, you can make a copy on your own drive and you can edit and use that as you wish. So it's my free uh, gift to you here um, to help you put this into practice as soon as possible. Uh, and then this uh, third step here, step three, is to go ahead and prioritize your projects and get to work. So very important to have prioritization, very important to work on one thing at a time. Uh, at least any one person, obviously a business can work on many things, but to have focus, you know, one person can only really commit to one thing at a time. Much better to fully focus on it, get it done, then move to the next thing. That's how you'll make progress. That's how you'll be much more successful than if you try to do many things at once or if you prioritize uh, incorrectly or badly, you know, make bad decisions, you might be putting off a very high impact project for a long time, which you could just get it done in a week or two maybe, and it might have a big impact, really big impact on your business. And you might just be doing it because you're not clear on it. You know, you haven't put in the data points, you haven't taken the time to look at things objectively and make better decisions, prioritize better, get better results. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, feel free to like, this uh, video feel free to subscribe to my channel and comment if you have any questions or comments i'd uh, love to hear from you so that's it bye bye